song, you know, I do house music too. In case you didn't know. Children in the 
program. And the children, we help them with schooling. I know that I go to Haiti a lot. Every couple of months, and when I go to Haiti, I help with bathing up the children, and I do hands-on. And I know that some of you guys are not able to go directly to Haiti, but you can help, and you can donate money. Because right now, the organization is counting on you, and we thank you for being here. And I hope that I can have a job to represent her. Have a good night. Thank you. those individuals who helped make this possible. Special thanks to Sorette Michel, attorney at law, if she's here, thank you. And of course, John Napoleon of Azure College, thank you again. We have another very special individual, thank you, who has always, always stood with H Media Management. He is none other than Daniel Oberti, of Oberti Eyewear. Please give a round of applause for Daniel Oberti. Cheers tonight. Okay, so you're cutting out. Tell us a little bit about Oberti Eyewear, please. Okay, um, Oberti Eyewear is a collection to be launching in um, the next couple of months in the US. It's uh, basically it's a collection which has been working for the past three years, which is launched solid gold and diamonds, and uh, we are coming with uh, three huge releases. One is the pattern sunglasses for all skiers, golfers, tennis players. Um, we're very proud to, to introduce that in the market. On behalf of Bebe Collections, I would like to first thank H Media Management and Function Miami Beach Fashion Week for allowing us to come here today again and give back again to our Haitian community. Before we bring out the Veda Collection of mine, I would like to tell you a little bit about Miss Alicia Dell and her endeavors with obstacles and how far she's come. Miss Alicia Dell was already an established artist and interior decorator in Haiti for quite some time. And she was serving the most elite um, customers all over the Caribbean. She, by accident, discovered that she was interested in developing a line of handbags, which became very, very popular. Following the earthquake in Haiti, Miss Felicia Dell was left with a crumbled factory and nowhere to build her bags. Till this day, her staff still works under tents and they're still able to produce the wonderful and magnificent bags that you're about to see. Again, it brings me honor and great pleasure to present to you Vebe Collection by Felicia Bell. Thank you. Let's 
Oh yeah, 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 oh y